Hey folks, how you doing? Hopefully you're all having a great day today. I got a couple things on this list of stuff to talk about. The first two things are not woodworking related at all. At all. Uh, my wife is finally getting out of the military after 13 years and she's determined that after 13 years she's accomplished everything that she's wanted to accomplish in her military career and her current time invested is not represented in the current pay provided. <laughs> So she's, she's done and she's retiring next month. She finally got the final signature this morning. She called me super excited. It's gonna free up so much of her, uh, of her personal time and uh, give us some more family time, which is always, always off, awesome in a selfish kind of way, um, for me anyway. Um, so it's, it's going to free up some time for her to pursue another hobby of writing books. I mentioned previously that she's writing some children's books and all of these books, this is such an awesome concept in my opinion, all of these books are the adventures of my daughter and our pets. My daughter has a really good relationship with our dogs and um, so all of these books are little adventures that they have, little learning lessons, stuff like that. And it's gonna be really cool in a couple of years when my daughter can read books to be able to read those memories, read those adventures and see kind of like a little snippet of her life. I think that concept is just stinking awesome. So uh, she's wrote book number one. It's been published, I mentioned it on this, this uh, vlog previously, in a vlog video previously. Book number two has been published for a little while, but I don't think I mentioned it. So if you're interested in checking out book number two, I'll have a link down in the description below. And book number three, we just got back from the, the illustrator and I'm just waiting on her to finalize it. And then I'm doing all the like uploading and the, that type of stuff. Just waiting on her to finalize that. And then we'll have book number three in digital format available as well. Book number one, two, and three individually are only available in digital format because individually they do not meet the requirements for self-publishing an actual physical paperback. So three was the magical number. We needed to get to book number three to put, she needed to get to book number three to put them together and offer a paperback. So a lot of people mentioned when I, when I, a lot of people mentioned when I mentioned that the first book that they would prefer a paperback version of the book. And finally, we'll be able to provide a paperback. So that's really, really cool. Again, book number two is the only one out right now, right at this time of this publishing. So I'll have that in the description below, but uh, I'll, I'll let everybody know when, uh, when the rest of it comes to fruition. That's really, really awesome. Uh, so the next thing is woodworking related. That is the threads on the wagon vise that I just installed in my workbench. So I just published an article and video on my website about installing a wagon vise on my workbench. And the threads on that wagon vise are traditional threads, which means the tightening is reversed. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, you know what I'm saying? If you traditionally tighten by going clockwise with the handle, it actually loosens the dogs, the, the, the vise, the, it expands the distance between dogs in that vise. So you just have to spin it the opposite direction to tighten it. Um, for some people, that may be a big deal. For me, I just turn it the other direction. It's, it, it's a complete function, it's a pure functionality setup. I want function with this. And that, that leads me to the second thing on this, uh, this particular topic. Does that vise spin freely like a bench crafted hardware vise? No, it doesn't. And because we're comparing, if you want to compare that to the bench crafted, you're, you're comparing apples to oranges here. Benchcrafted hardware, the hardware they make, they're, they're selling Ferraris. They're selling some really, really nice stuff. And this is the bare bones economy car with no power windows. We, the, 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 the getting tongue tied here. The wagon vice kit that I installed is pure basic functionality and that's it. It's not any of the creature comforts that you're going to get with something a little bit more nice. Um, so, um, is, is the benchcrafted stuff worth the extra money? Absolutely, to the right people. Um, is this worth your time and effort to install versus another uh, setup? Absolutely, to the right people. You know, the market is what decides what something is worth. Something is worth only what people are willing to pay. And um, benchcrafted is selling a lot of hardware, so it's definitely worth the price. And uh, I talked to Taylor Toolworks and these are these little kits are selling. So uh, they're worth the price as well to the right people. Um, so no, 
That was kind of a long answer. No, it does not spin super freely like the uh, the Benchcrafted hardware, but it spins freely with no obstruction. You can take a finger and just one finger and spin the vise. Uh, but but like a Benchcrafted hardware, like their leg vices, if you open them up all the way, you can spin it one time and they'll shh, super cool stuff. Uh, I think that's it for this particular video. It was just kind of a quick win project and uh, wanted something that I've wanted to do for a little while. Check that box. And I have something that's set up and ready to go. So that's another thing. This That particular wagon vise, it wasn't a, a need. It's kind of a want. I already have a Veritas, Veritas Wonder Dog. I think that's what they're called. It's a bench dog that has a threaded rod going through it so you can tighten the threaded rod to tighten stuff up in the same way that you use a wagon vise. Uh, however, this was, I think that, I think I thought the presentation of putting a video together for this would be pretty fun, uh, which it was. And this is way more convenient, ready to go at all times. So I justified actually installing it. The next thing that I'm working on are a couple shop projects that I don't want to get too, I don't want to talk about them too much, but I'm, I'm working on two shop projects that are the same thing, but one's geared towards hand tools and one's geared towards hybrid slash power tool users. Uh, so another another shop project is in the works and I'm also about to shoot a shop tour video. I've been in the shop for a year and six months, year and year and six months, year and nine months, something like that. A year and nine months. Wow, time has flown by. I've already been in the shop almost two years. That is crazy to think about. I haven't shot a shop tour video in here yet. And I'm going to shoot a shop tour video in here because I'm about to change the layout of the shop. <laughs> Most likely, anyway. Uh, there's nothing really wrong, per se, with this particular layout. I really like the way that my assembly table is in the middle, and I always say that this assembly table is the center hub of the workflow wheel, meaning all of the stations are on like a spoke of this workbench, right? Uh, this assembly table. And that works really, really, really well. The thing is, I, there's just a lot of wasted space here. Uh, the distance in between every station isn't too far that I'm complaining about walking too much, but it is unnecessarily large. So I can combine all of this stuff, kind of consolidate the entire shop. I've already put together a SketchUp model. And basically, I'm going to put the entire shop, everything that I have in the shop, in half the space. I won't lose any workflow, I don't think. Um, but what that'll allow me to do is free up the other half of the shop for stuff that I want to have in here. And that is, you know, this, this whole shop is, you know, the whole stereotypical man cave word, uh, phrase you want to say, this is, this is my space and I want to add some more stuff that I'm interested in. And I want to add a, either a homemade or store bought, I'm not exactly sure, um, power rack. I want to get some free weights in here and start getting back into lifting weights. Uh, I've lost quite a bit of weight over the past six months, nine months, almost a year now. And uh, I've just had, really had the itch to, to work out again. Uh, I've worked out the majority of my life with free weights, but I live in a place where there's no gyms nearby. And um, yeah, so that's something that I wanna pursue. Moving all of the shop into half the space will allow me to, to expand upon my other interests uh, quite a bit. I think that's all I have to talk about. Uh, that's all I have to talk about. You guys take care. Have a great day. <laughs> and I'll talk to you in the next video.